Uh, we're going to do a question and answer for the next 15 minutes, and then we'll take a short break and come back together again. Give me your name again. Brendan. You guys give it up for Brendan. Isn't he a good-looking man? <laughs> My God. Are you, are you single? What's that? Are you single? Uh, yes. Okay, come up here. <laughs> Let's get to the question and answer. <laughs> Brendan, are you a man? Are you a, <laughs> Brandon, are you a man that's submitted to authority? <laughs> Stand up here on the stage. Come here. My God, who does this kid think he is? Come here. Stand in the light so they can see your face. How tall are you? Uh, six feet. Oh, you got a microphone in your hand. Use the mic. Chad, I'm six feet tall. Six feet tall. God, the eyes are beautiful. These are blue eyes. He's got the 90210 uh, uh, sideburns going on. <laughs> Let me fix that for you. Thank you. Uh, his teeth are very white. From here, you can see it. Uh, beautiful dresser. He's a great dresser. And uh, what kind of movies do you like? Uh, Passion of the Christ. So, so he's kind of a holy roller. Uh, if you, if some of the girls out there that are just into G, simply Jesus, this would be a good guy. Pride and Prejudice. Okay, so he's very in touch with his emotions as well. Are you an athlete, a musician? What do you do, uh, Brendan? I just serve the Lord. So very boring kid. So any girl out there that wants to read the Bible and be boring your whole life. And have good sideburns. Brent is your guy, okay? Okay, let's get to some question and answers. You're not going to find a girl for a while. You need to get some, ha some hobbies and stuff, okay? Um, um, it explains it all. Uh, hey, uh, can you welcome up? He is still single. Nothing has changed. I know he got a few text messages. From the TV show, 90210, give it up for Brittany today. Come on, give it up for my boy. Thank you. I hope you all have the chance to be thoroughly embarrassed as well. Hey, so we've got some snacks and drinks over in this room here. We've got the cafe that's across the way that you can purchase some drinks as well. We've got about 18 minutes, if my math is correct. So we'll see you guys back in here at 1045. Feel free to use the bathroom during this time so we can get Chad our full attention. Thanks. I want you to give it up for a movie star, Sean McCartan over here, everybody. A movie star. I don't know if I can even promote the movie that Sean stars in. Sean, how old were you when you were in that movie? All things have been covered by the blood of the Lord, okay? Exactly. But I will, t will tell you, he's one of the best-looking men I have ever. I mean, look at this guy. You need to come to the college to learn how to dress. You know, Brandon, where's Boring Brandon at? Is he back there? You need to take notes from this man of God. My God, how, this man has way more swag than you. And so, and Sean, Sean is one of the best basketball players I've ever. Who do you know that drops 50 points in city leagues? Sean McCartan. He's a dancer. He is a movie star. He's a basketball. He's everything Brennan hopes he could be one day. Sean McCartan. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I'm not. Uh, but, Sean, you need to come to uh, New Hope Christian College just to be like Sean McCartan. Can I get an amen today? My favorite per person at this conference, Brennan, is going to pass around the microphone. Uh, questions out of this teaching, spiritually strong, socially aware, some questions that anybody might have had of things. Someone else? Over here. Man, it, that, Brent, he, get, he looks better as he just walk. Look at that. It's a brisk walk. Hey, I want to make sure that you can breathe okay in those pants. Are you doing I'm good? breathing fine. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm breathing just fine. <laughs> I know. That was good. <laughs> you should try them. They're called skinny jeans. They will help you. I like your parachute pants. Hey, go ahead. Oh. Wranglers. Okay, go ahead. So 15 minutes until our lunch starts. And uh, actually, I'm going to invite Brendan. You guys give Brendan a big warm welcome back to the stage as he gives us our instruction. You left me defenseless, so I have to say one more thing. I noticed that your friend was so hairy, so this is your compensation. Turn around and let them see real quick that you have exposed your bare chest that is hairless here as compensation for his friend. So I, I thought that was a nice I touch. I shaved my chest. That's why it's bare. That's really nice. Yeah, thank you. You will never be confused for the hair again. Okay, so here's the directions. First of all, let me say, I'm sorry. It was a terrible introduction. I didn't do him any justice. So I said, Pastor Chad, let me make it up to you. I want to take you out 
and just explore Eugene and just get to know you, hang out with you a little bit. And he said, Brennan, that would be awesome. He said, I love your sideburns. I would love to be seen with you. Let's do it. So we went out and uh, hit the mall. We tried on some of the girls' pants that he wears at the mall. That was a blast. Took him down to Fifth Street Market, you know, saw the sights, and then, and then we went to Hawaiian time. Pastor Chad loves Hawaiian time. So we, we, you know, we were eating and talking and just hearing his heart for Jesus and heart for youth, and it was so exciting. We were really just hitting it off. So Pastor Chad leans into me, and I'm sorry I'm going to tell your secret here, but he leans into me and says, Brendan, can I tell you something that I've never told anybody? I said, Pastor Chad, you can trust me. I would love to hear what you have to tell me. He says, Brendan, I have always dreamed of going to Autzen Stadium where the Oregon Ducks play. Would you take me there? Pastor Chad, really? He, he says, yes, I've always dreamed of going there. So I, we got in my car, and, you know, I'm, I'm nervous because I know he's, he's been talking a lot of hate on the Ducks. But, you know, we're, we head over to Autzen Stadium, and, and there's the football players. Now, here's the thing about Eugene that he wasn't familiar with. Our football team, uh, all the players are on fire for Jesus. You know, up in Seattle, those guys, they don't really know Jesus, and they don't really know Chad. Here in Eugene... <laughs> They are on fire for Jesus. And they're, Pastor Chad Veach from Puyallup, this is amazing. So LaMichael James comes up, gets his autograph. I mean, he's a celebrity. So they say, hey, Pastor Chad, we are so just thrilled to have you here. Can we let you try on one of our uniforms? Are, are you kidding? Well, yeah. So we actually got a picture of Pastor Chad in that uniform. And this is, this is Pastor Chad. And, and let me tell you something. Nike goes all out. They got the V-neck for him. Uh, the socks fitted just right for you there. And uh, let me tell you something. Pastor Chad, after that, he was so sold on that. He said, I've got to just deck myself out in Ducks gear. Let me be the biggest fan that you've ever seen. And so we got a picture of him in his fan gear. So let me tell you something. I was nervous. I said, I don't know if Pastor Chad really loves the Lord, but after visiting and just seeing his heart change for the ducks, I was blessed. So let's give it up for Pastor Chad, who's just an amazing man. <laughs> Sincerely, though, guys, he's been wonderful, and I hope you guys enjoy this. You notice he walked down on that side of the stage. <laughs> Little 150-pound kid. Um... Praise God, praise God, praise God. Well, uh, that is, uh, I didn't, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I did not know he was going to share that with everybody. I'm unprepared to tell you that that is the truth. But since we're in the house of God, it is the truth. And you know what's weird is um, he's only telling one side of the story. You know, isn't that always interesting when people only share one side of the story? Because there's a whole other side of the story. See, what he didn't tell you was that he came out of the closet that he is a Husky fan. <laughs> a big, in fact, can we go to the pictures here? I, I don't think that he... <laughs> see, he didn't tell you about that, did he? I think there's more. Yeah, see, right there in the student section... Go dogs. So you thought I was the only one that came out of the closet yesterday, but look at this guy. Watch this. Exactly. Exactly. So I guess we're both a little bit messed up. <laughs> I love the one with me in the Ducks jersey. My, my legs are so skinny. My God. 